What's up, people? <laughs> Let's go. It's on. I'm back. <laughs> um, happy 2021. What's going on? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it's a new year. New things popping. And the Lord is back with the word. So I'm here to be obedient and to share. Um, I want to warn you that some of you aren't going to like me after this word. <laughs> Hi, Joe. What's up, Joanne? I miss you. I haven't seen you in these internet streets in a long time. What's going on? Are you in Kenya or the UK? Because you make moves and I love it. Hey, Jay, what's up? Um, so, yeah, I'm back with another prophetic word from the Lord, moving in obedience. He has some things that he wants to share with you guys. Um, and some of you may not really love it. It might step on your toes a little bit, but I promise you, you know how God is. He only does things, um, to push us into our greatness and into our best. Oh, you're in the UK. All right, Joe. I love it. Um, he wants to push us into our best and push us into our purpose and what he's called us to do so we can live our best life before we leave this earth. Um, that's what he's about. Okay. Um, so... Earlier in the in uh, quarantine, probably um, maybe around April, you know, a little bit into quarantine, the Lord told me that He was going to be birthing millionaires in this quarantine time. That He would be downloading, um, you know, strategic plans. That He would be downloading um, business ideas and strategic steps to take people who are already in business to the next level. So for those of you who are not yet in business, God said he was going to be downloading business ideas and telling you what he wants you to do and how he wants it done. And that for those of you who are in business, he was going to be downloading. Hi Vera. Good morning. Hey Tanya. What's up girl? Um, downloading, um, strategic steps to take your business to the next level. Okay. So that's what he told me. And I could tell you for sure that he's definitely been doing that. I've been interacting with clients that I've worked with in the past and clients I'm working with now and just people that I know in business and they have been getting new business ideas, starting new businesses and really going to the next level in their existing businesses, okay? But there are some of you who are still afraid to move and that's where this word comes from. Um, there are some of you who have already gotten the strategic download, but you're stuck. Fear has you stuck. We live in a world where everybody has something to say about everybody. And so it's not as easy to put yourself out there. I know, I get it. Um, but if God is downloading an idea to you for business, it is to increase your revenue in your household, to bring more wealth into your household, and to be a blessing to his children, right? Because he's all about all of us. So your gifts and your talents, what you were sent to the earth to do, is going to bless other people. And when you hold that back, then you can't be as blessed because you're not moving in obedience, okay? I'm telling you, I had to learn this. So, real quick story about me. Like, so the card company that I have, Proclaim Greetings, I would have never in my whole entire life thought that I would be doing a card company. Ever, 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 ever. Okay? But the Lord told me to. And the way he did it, I knew it was him because it was no way that the woman I was on a prayer call with would have known about a painting I painted when I was 19 years old. I painted a painting at my friend's house when I was 19 years old on a pizza box. Because we was broke. We didn't have canvases, okay? We wasn't cute, all right? Lessons from Chicago. Hello, Teresa, what's up? I always say your name wrong. I'm sorry. It's Tricia. I remember we talked on the phone one time and you helped me. Remember, I apologize, sis. If I said it wrong, I apologize. Um, but pizza box, painted the painting. Here I go, 20 years later, on the phone with a woman, and the Lord shows her the painting. She talks about the painting to a T, and she's like, God wants you to start a car company put them on cards he wants he wants cards for his people through your paintings i don't even think that i'm a daggone artist but i moved in obedience because god said so you know what i mean and i know that he's god and i know he has a plan that's greater than us you know as individuals it's about us as a body you know what i'm saying all of us so if you've been told to start a business do it i urge you because he is urging me to urge you do it 
because he's birthing millionaires in this season. So you may have the million dollar plan and you sitting on it, scared about what Kat's going to say. Scared. I know. I, you know, I, 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 it's not like nobody's not talking about me. I know people got stuff to say, but I'm not worried about it because I'm moving in obedience to God. And because of that, the blessings are able to come into my life. You understand what I'm saying? So he is birthing millionaires. Do you understand that God feels like it's nothing to make you a millionaire? Do you understand how many people I have run into just in the last couple of weeks? I've been doing networking and these different networking events and networking online networking events business people and I promise you I tell you I kid you not a woman that I bumped into just became a millionaire in the last couple of months selling t-shirts she started a t-shirt company because she had to stay home with her daughter because her daughter's clothes her school was closed and she had to stay home with her daughter and she was like, I got to start an online business. I got to be making some kind of money. I'm just going to try to do t-shirts. Became a millionaire, y'all, in the last few months. Less than a year. So I'm telling you, God is birth of millionaires. And if he's giving you an idea and you move in obedience as to exactly what he said, you don't know what he's going to do. So you need to do it. All right, so there are two specific things that he talked to me about that he wants me to share with y'all about. Some of you are asking for more in the business you do have. You've kind of dropped it off. It's, you're treating it more like a hobby, all right, is what he was showing me. You've had this business, you've had this business idea or this business kind of working it as a business for years now, and you really have not been really treating it as a business, as a professional business. You're treating it as a hobby. You're treating it as something you can pick up and drop off, put down, pick up, put down. Do it sometime. Don't do it all the time. Do it when you feel like it. He's not with it. He said do it or don't do it at all. I'm telling you what he said. It's real talk. Do it or don't do it at all. Because he's not playing games. And he can't get in mess. And that's messy to him. You can't do it sometimes. That's mess. God is, let me tell you something. Think, the way I think of God and the Holy Spirit is like the smoothest dude you ever want to see okay and women for the women out there y'all know how we feel about dudes the smooth dude he got a smooth walk everything about him is smooth his shoes is fresh not a scrape not a scuff everything about him is fly everything about what he do is dope everything that's who god is okay like you know we have kind of created god to be this facade of like this holy person who is untangible and we can't even go near him or think of him unless we're ready to be super holy like a nun or something. That is my God. I'm telling you now. He made us. He made us and we are made in his image. And I know me. I'm fly, but I can get in you. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about yourself. You know what I mean? That's God. So when you're talking about how dope God is and you're talking about him telling you to do stuff, it's for your own good. Pieces where he's like, you know, for others, right? And you might not want to do it, but it's a blessing in it all because he's God. And he's got you just as much as he's got them, and he's got them as much as he got you. So you gotta look up for everybody. You know, that's how he rolls, because he cares about us all. So your gifts, your talents, the business that you were told to start is a blessing to someone else's life, and you playing around with it is not cool to him because he's trying to use that to bless people. And so he can't get involved. And so if you're gonna play around with it, he's out. He's out. And you don't want anything in your life that God's not a part of. Because then you have no protection. No covering, no leading, no guiding. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want that. So, for those of you who have been downloaded with an idea of a business, get it started. Don't let fear step in. Move. Move consistently. Move towards the finish line. Start it. Do it. Continue to do it. Do all the steps. For those of you who are in business who's been playing around with it, picking it up and dropping it off, it's not, it's, it's, it's not that time anymore. It's not that season. Those kinds of things can't happen. So you have to go all in. You have to go all in, get the help you need, research, put the time in, don't play around with it, okay? And um, then there is those who are, who has been in that business place, like I said, I'm kind of playing around with it, 
what God wants you to know specifically is a lot of you don't even have websites. And he's not with that. You're acting like a hustle man. People have to inbox you money and send you money this way and meet you at the grocery store to give you money for the shirt and the hat and, you know, or whatever. Like, he's not with that. You are asking for more, but you're not even set up for more. You're not set up for more. He can't even send you more. He can't even send you more. How? You have no website. Where they going to? Where they going to get it from? You want everybody to flood your inbox and you to like all of a sudden get a get a get a flood of inbox Facebook messages on on, you know, the sneakers that you're selling. That's not happening. It's, that is not happening because he's not playing those kinds of games no more. He's not doing those kind of kitty games, those little reindeer games. He's not with that because he's God and he's dope. He's God and he's dope and he does things in excellence and he does things up here and he wants you to be up here because you were made in his image when i do proclaim stuff i i i won't tell you that i've always done it to the highest of heights but i always do it to the best of my ability at that time and as i grow and as i learn i continue to increase you know what i'm saying i will be praying for you um chanel you know i love you you know i am uh, your business is something that is dear to my heart because God has connected us for years. So I'm going to be praying for you. If I get anything that he says specifically, I will share it with you. And please know that it's okay to be discouraged and not know what move to make. You know what I'm saying? But you got to make a move. You know what I'm saying? And so I know he's going to guide you and I'm going to be praying. Father God, please just guide um, Chanel. Just give her what she needs, God, because she wants to move in obedience. If we have that heart where we want to move in obedience and we say, God, show me, show me, he will. He totally will. I know he will, for sure. And you know I'm here for y'all if y'all need me. I don't, this, this, you know, when I work in the prophetic and I work with what God is telling me to share, I'm not selling me. But y'all know I'm here. You know I have, um, you know I have um, coaching and, and all that kind of stuff, branding and things that I can do at any time. But I'm going to pray for y'all for sure and, and ask God to help guide you through your obedience to him. So for those of you who have been having that web, that business for a long time with no website, it's time. Um, a website's not a big deal. Don't allow the devil to make you think it's this big thing, you know, that you have to hire somebody for thousands of dollars. It's not a big thing. God is about minimizing things this year. Stop, you know, these things that are so heavy and held over our head and makes us feel less than and not worthy and not ready and not able to. He's squashing those like grapes. He's squashing those like grapes because he's making millionaires in this season. Because he needs millionaires in the kingdom. He needs children with a heart like his that will do for his people, that will obey his voice, that will do the right thing with money. He don't need us broke. He got enough of the greedy, nasty people. And I ain't going to say no names, but y'all know them. They on TV every day. He has enough of them with money. It's our turn. It is time for the kingdom to step up and get the money that God has for us. He is building this season, but we must be obedient and do what we have to do. So if you have a business and you don't have a website, get one ASAP. Whatever you have to do to set yourself up to look and be as professional as you can, you must do it. And then the next person that he needs me to speak to is those of you who he downloaded ideas to, who started the business, who started to promote the business, and you quit. Hey, Beck, what's up? Um, I love this. The Joanne's like, hey, Becky. Becky's like, hey, Joanne. I love that. It's like the community talk. I love y'all. Y'all are the best. Um, some of you have started the business started to promote it but you didn't get the results that you were looking for some of you are thinking too big can i say that sorry but it's real i gotta tell you what the holy spirit is talking he's talking the real talk today some of you are thinking too big some of you are looking at people online and you want to be that immediately so you feel like okay god you told me to do this business and i put this business out and um why didn't i blow up like the pinky promise girl it should have been 5,000 people on my website by in the morning. Yeah, but, you know, God can hit you with favor, but you just started. You got to get out there, boo. You got to get out there, and you have to be faithful. 
let me tell you this story about myself. I bring it back to me. I always bring it back to me. When the Holy Spirit tells me to step on somebody's toes, I look at me. Where, where did I do a move like this, Lord? How can I share? Okay, so let me tell you about me. So, you know, with this greeting card business, right? Put it out there. Um, you know, people were buying cards. I was all excited. I was like, oh my God, people are buying these cards. These cards are moving. Okay. And then, like, I was like, oh, I should have a sale. Like, sales happen in businesses. Let me, and I did a sale, and I got, like, two purchases on the sale. And I was like, okay, I was kind of thinking, like, you know, it's going to be a little more than that. All right, what else did Jesus decide? So I kept on going. And then, look, so I do another sale, right? A couple months later, no sales on my sale. I was like, I'm trying to give this stuff to y'all for the cheap and the low low, and nobody even wanted it. I was a little heartbroken. My little feelings were hurt. I was like, but Jesus, I thought you told me to. I, you, and I'm going to tell you, I've gone to him several times. I have gone to him several times when different things have happened with this car business. And I've been like, this is what you told me to do anyway. So, like, whatever. <laughs> you know, and he's like, ah, ah, ah. Don't, don't come at my cards like that. Check your neck. He checked me. He checked me. But, like, seriously, I was thinking, this is something God told me to do. I moved in obedience, so it should be just boom. That's it. Where's, where's the millions, Jesus? But it doesn't happen like that, okay? It doesn't happen like that. So, I want to be honest with telling you that this past weekend, I had another 50%, I had a 50% off sale. It was probably my biggest sale today, and it went well. Um, I still wanted it to go even better. I got a couple of people that purchased, but I wanted it to go even better. But let me tell you, the Lord blew my mind this week. I put out our new Valentine's card on Monday, and four hours of it being out in the public, I got 10 orders. Not only that, but I also got my biggest order to date this week. I had someone purchase wholesale, and they purchased Buku's cards for their cafe in Baltimore. But guess what, though? I've been doing this for a year, y'all. Guess what, though? Do you know how many cards I put out that nobody responded to? I mean, most of them they do. I'd rather be honest. Praise God. I'm so grateful. But there's been cards that I have launched that not, not one person has purchased. I want to keep it real with you. Not for pity, because I want to tell you that when God tell you to do something, you don't get to tell him how you want it to be done. Uh, come on, somebody. You don't get to do that, boo. And when he tell you to do it, you don't get to pick it up and drop it off when you feel like it. So some of y'all, I don't know who you are. It's a girl. She, I know it's a woman. And you have a t-shirt business. And you promoted that thing two, three times, the Lord said. And then you walked away from it. And now you're crying to him about blessing this new thing you want. He said, nah. <laughs> Come on now. God said, yeah, nah. Okay? So whatever that little thing is, I don't know who you are, boo. I ain't, I'm just listening. I'm out here. I'm out here telling you what it is. I hear the Lord and y'all know that. I would never get on here and tell y'all something he didn't say because I'm not going to have him come at me. You understand what I'm saying? But somebody with a t-shirt business, the Lord told you to start it. If the Lord didn't tell you to start it, it ain't you. But if the Lord told you to start a t-shirt business and you promoted it a couple times for two little seconds, you went all out, all excited. I see you in the spirit. You, oh my God, oh, you all gassed up and happy about the t-shirt and you promoted it a couple times and you were expecting, you are the person. You are her. She is you. You are expecting thousands of people because God told you to do it. I understand. I've been there. Look, I'm, I'm telling you my own business. I thought so too, girl. But he said nah. So this new thing that you're doing now that you came up with on your own to replace the thing God said, God said nah. Ain't going to happen. Nope. Go back to them t-shirts like I told you is what God said. So pick up them t-shirts, boo, and holla at me, whoever you are. You don't even got to tell me your business. You ain't even got to say, I'm the t-shirt girl you was talking to on the video. You just, just holla at me. I might buy a t-shirt if it's cute and it's about the Lord. I'll buy one. Tell a couple people. I'm with it. I support small business all the time. So homegirl with the t-shirt business, go back to that because that's what God said. And the thing you're doing now, it ain't never going to work because he ain't with it because that's not what he told you to do. It don't matter how cute your graphics are. Mm -mm. No. He's God. Y'all play around with him. He ain't with it. He's God. And then there's a few of you who are who's asking for more in your business, who's purchasing more equipment and more things. I see you getting things delivered at your home. More things for this business, but you don't have a website. God said, what is that? What is that? 
I tell, God is on one today. He real fly today. <laughs> He's God. Okay. He is God. Okay. He said nah. <laughs> he didn't even say no. He said nah. <laughs> nah, boo. I'm not doing that with you. You've been in the game too long and you know better. Get a website. That's what the Lord said. So y'all know I come over here in obedience. I love you. I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your toes. I still love you, but I got to tell you what the Lord is saying because he's birthing millionaires. Will you be one? I'm one. That's it. I'm not going to be one. I is one. Okay? That's it. That's it, baby. You got to claim that thing like it is, boo-boo. You can't be speaking about the far off distance because that thing will always be far off. I is one. God said, nah, Tan. Tan, you know how God do. He's like, nah, it ain't happening. <laughs> Get a website. <laughs> nah, that new business that you came up with on your own, it ain't happening. Get back to them t-shirts. So I love you. And God wants you to be great. And I know you can be great. So be great. Be great so he can get all up in your business, yo. Because when he's all up in your business, I promise you, it is wonderful. It is phenomenal. It, he guides you. He leads you. He'll help you not make mistakes that's going to cost you a lot of money. He will help you not have heartache and heartbreak. You know what I'm saying? So do what he's telling you to do because he's got you. But you must move in obedience. In order for me to get to the large wholesale order that I got this week and me putting a card on my website within four hours and getting 10 sales, that's big for me. Some of y'all, that's nothing because you've been getting it, you know? But for me, for this particular business, it's very new. And I'm excited because I remember putting cards on the website, having my little assistant, I, Michelle, hook your girl up, put the card up there. This is the price, Michelle. I'll put it on up, girl. We're going to get some sales and crickets, crickets. <laughs> but I pushed through. And that's what God is calling you to do. When God says so, you got to push through. You don't get to give, give up. You don't get to pick it up and put it down. You got to push. So... His birth of millionaires in the season. If you will be one, he wants you to. If he's downloaded ideas to you, specifically in quarantine, those were holy ideas. You understand? Those were holy ideas. There was anointing on those ideas to make millions. So you gotta move. You gotta move. For those of you who had businesses a long time ago, you've been kind of playing around with it as a hobby. You know, you pick it up and you put it down. You do it sometimes. Sometimes you post about it. Sometimes you don't. He ain't with it. He said, do it or don't do it. Do it or don't do it. Okay? Some of you also have been downloading strategic moves to make in the business that you are being diligent in. But it's time to stretch and grow and go bigger. And so God said, get with that. Those things he told you to do that's scary, uncomfortable, is in the uncomfortable deep water that you'll need him and his blessings. So you got to push through. You got to go into the deep. It's time for the deep. You can't stay in the baby pool forever. I can't be in a baby pool. My legs are too big. I'm six feet. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who's been in my presence who knows me. Daisha is my, home, my sister from another mister. So, Di, you know. I'm too tall for the, the kiddie pool. I got to go into the deep. And a lot of you, too, have got to go into the deep. It's time to go into the deep. Get a website. If you have a business, you have to have a website because God wants to send. There is um, someone that has got something. I think it's something to do with sweets because I can taste sweets in my mouth. He worked with me in all kinds of ways, y'all. I'm weird. Anybody, Rose is on here. Rose been knowing me since I was a little girl. She know I'm weird. It's, it's been. It's been. It's always been. It's, I've been the same person forever, ever, ever. Tanya, tell them, you know, I'm special. I've always been a special one. <laughs> um, but I can taste it in my mouth. It's sweets that you make. You make some kind of sweets and stuff. Um, there is a hookup that the Lord wants to do for you where you're going to be promoting about it and somebody on TV is going to pick it up and it's going to be on TV. But he can't do it because you ain't got no, web no website right now. So you, with the sweets, get a website. And it's a bunch of rest of y'all. It's a whole lot of y'all that need websites. He wants you to get them. And then my sister with the t-shirt business. You got to go back to the t-shirt business, boo. That new thing, he, it's not what he said. So he's not going to get with that. Okay? I love y'all. Y'all are the best. You know if you need me, I'm here. Okay. I asked the Holy Spirit, can I share about my stuff, Lord? 
Um, so yeah, so if you need me, holla at me. You know I'm here. You know I'm here to brand y'all, bring y'all to the next level. But I'm always going to give you what God says because I'm going to be obedient because I'm not going to be caught out there where he ain't blessing me, baby. So I'm going to come step on y'all toes if I need to. I will come pray for you if I need to. Whatever it is, we're going to get it done. Hey, Kia, what's up? So, um, you know, I'm here for you. Um, I am doing the 5K slay. So for those of you in business who are trying to get to those 5K months, haven't gotten there yet, 5K slay is what I have that I'm working on women with. It has been phenomenal thus far. Um, it is not hard to get to $5,000 a month, y'all. I promise you. I have done this for so many women so many women at this point that I am blown away by God's greatness, okay? Listen, I got you. There are strategic Holy Spirit downloads that I have been given throughout the years that I have done with women that has taken their businesses from a couple hundred dollars a month to thousands, I promise you. Yeah, I'm only speaking it because it's God's truth, okay? And I can do it with you and it can happen with you. If you are already making thousands in your business but you're ready to scale you know really to set up those systems where things can flow in an evergreen kind of way flow with your hands off of it a little bit more so you can spend more time doing what you love and really giving your purpose to your clients and not have to be doing all of the behind the scenes work holler at me i have the power to scale i've been working with women on that and um it has been phenomenal as well um I'm ready to help you if you need me. I even have, you know, digital products and different things that I have for small business owners who are just started. So even if you just need prayer, I am willing to pray with you and ask God, what moves do you need to make? And maybe he will share that and download the moves you need to make that might be holding you back from getting to the next step. No matter what that is, even if it's just starting setting up the LLC, even if it's just figuring out how to set up the business. Even if you have the business set up and you're trying to figure out how to now get this to the next level, okay? So it's time, it is time. Um, there are also some spiritual balances some of you need. Some of you are doing amazing in business, but your spiritual life lacks. You're not really seeking him as much. You're not reading you know, the word as much. You're not spending time with him as much so he can download and speak to you and guide you. You know, that time of quiet time where you can really hear him. So he is also showing me this. He's showing me the scales that it needs to be balanced in this season to be one of the millionaires he's birthing. There's something different about the millionaires that he's birthing right now in this season, in this time, because there is a, a shield almost around the millionaires that he's birthing in this time. You're gonna, it's going to come easy. Because you're moving in obedience, you're moving in purpose, you're listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And so your millions is, 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 is different than some of these other people's millions because they didn't get them in a good way, y'all. Not everybody, not everybody, but I'm saying some of them, right? So God is saying that these particular millionaires that he's birthing now, they're going to have balance. Spiritual, emotional, and financial balance. He wants you to be rich in all areas of your life. And he wants to bring forth wealth in all areas of your life. So that's it. I done did the work. I can go chill out now. Get some other stuff done. Because I did what the Lord said. <laughs> Y'all pray for me, yo. It's, it's interesting. My life is very interesting. But I know that I will always move in obedience to him. I know that. That I know. So I love y'all. Y'all have an amazing day.